Tivoli Storage Manager Version 6 Performance Tuning Understanding Client Instrumentation These are the topics we will cover. The purpose of this tutorial is to give you a working understanding of how to use the TSM client instrumentation so that you can use it to identify TSM performance bottlenecks in your environment. There is a methodology that works best for solving performance tuning problems. This methodology is iterative and is focused on finding the bottleneck and then providing relief for that bottleneck. First, it is important to have reasonable expectations for throughput in any environment. There will be physical limitations imposed by the configuration, network, tape drives, etc. Understanding these limitations is the first step towards setting appropriate expectations. It is best to be able to identify performance anomalies as quickly as possible so as to take action before things get worse. Use baseline measurements to spot problems. For example, a backup from last night that takes much longer or is trending longer over a period of time is a strong indication that performance is degrading. Often performance issues are related to recent changes to the environment. Identify any possible changes and consider the effect of these changes. Next, gather performance diagnostics. The TSM server and client instrumentation are the best place to start. There may be other outputs that are needed later, such as operating system diagnostics or network diagnostics. However, the instrumentation tools are generally sufficient to identify the bottleneck. They are designed to measure the data movement components of a TSM operation and can generally identify which parts are taking the most time. When the bottleneck is identified, take corrective action. Use the TSM Optimizing Performance Guide to get advice about setting TSM parameters that might affect performance. It might be necessary to add network, disk, or tape resource to relieve the bottleneck. This process can be repeated as often as necessary until the desired performance is achieved or until there is no practical way to remove the bottleneck. TSM Client Instrumentation is a tool that is used to help resolve performance problems. It is useful for problems that involve TSM client operations like backup and restore. In most cases, it should be used in conjunction with TSM Server Instrumentation. TSM Client Instrumentation works by identifying TSM Client internal processing threads that are pertinent to data movement operations. It will categorize it, each discrete function within these data movement threads. Then it will count the number of times each function is invoked and calculate the total time spent on each function within the thread. The resulting statistics are displayed in a tabular format for each data movement thread that has been identified. Here is an example of a portion of a client instrumentation output. The TSM client instrumentation is controlled by making a change to the TSM client options file or by adding an option to the TSM client command line. To en enable the instrumentation from the options file, add the test flag instrument colon detail option to the dsm.sys file or to the dsm.op file. To enable the instrumentation from the command line, add the parameter dash test flag equals instrument colon detail. The instrumentation will begin when the client operation is initiated. When the client operation has completed, the instrumentation will end in a file named dsminstr.report.pid will be written to the same location where the dsmerror.log file is located. PID is a process ID. To disable the instrumentation, remove the test flag from the dsm.op or dsm.sys file. Be sure to recycle the TSM client when enabling or disabling the instrumentation. If the TSM scheduler is being used to start the client operation, the scheduler must be recycled. TSM client instrumentation cannot be dynamically turned on or off in the middle of a client operation. It is important to note that the client operation must end normally for the file to be written to disk. 
the client process cannot be killed, closed, or otherwise abnormally ended. If the operation must be canceled before it ends normally, use the client QQ command or cancel the client session from the TSM server. It is best to collect instrumentation on an event that lasts at least 15 or 20 minutes. The client instrumentation will only work with the TSM command line client or the TSM API client. It does not work with the TSM GUI client or with the TSM web client. It is best to run the client instrumentation in conjunction with the server instrumentation as client performance can be affected by certain server side factors. This example highlights the various parts of the individual thread output. The thread ID is the identifying number given the thread by the TSM client. The thread categories are the discrete sub-operations that are performed to accomplish the data movement. These are the categories that are counted and timed. The category time column is the measured time in seconds for each of the categories. The category count is the count of times each category operation is invoked. The total thread time is the elapsed time for this thread. Use this chart to understand the meanings of the column values displayed in the thread output. Section. This is the subactivity or category. The values in each row are subtotals for this thread. Actual. This is the total time spent in this category in seconds. The more time spent in this category relative to the total time, the more likely this category is the bottleneck. Average. This is the average time spent on operations in this category in milliseconds. Frequency. This is the number of times the actions in this category were performed during the measurement interval. Divide this number into the total bytes transferred to calculate the data block size per category. Use this chart to understand the category names and their meanings. These are some of the categories most often used for performance tuning. Query Server DIRS is the time spent receiving the list and attributes of all the directories for an incremental backup. Significant time spent here can indicate a bottleneck on the TSM server. Query Server Files is the time spent receiving the list and attributes of all the files for an incremental backup. Significant time spent here can also indicate a bottleneck on the TSM server. Process DIRS this is the time spent scanning the client file system to determine which objects have changed as part of an incremental backup. Transaction is a general category for capturing file related activities not accounted for in other sections. File open and close time is accrued in this category. File I.O. is the time spent reading or writing data to the client file system. Significant time here would indicate a bottleneck on the client file system. Data verb is the time spent sending or receiving data to or from the TSM server. Significant time spent in this category would indicate a problem with the network or with the TSM server. End TXN verb is the amount of time waiting for a response from the TSM server while it is doing end of transaction processing. Significant time spent in this category can indicate, on the, uh, can indicate that the bottleneck is on the TSM server database. Thread wait is the time the client thread spends waiting on other client threads. Thread wait time is usually not significant. Each client operation has two types of threads, producer and consumer. The producer threads are responsible for generating a list of files that need to be backed up or restored. The consumer threads do the data transfers to or from the TSM server. To identify the producer threads, look for threads that have most time in the Query Server DIRS, Query Server Files, and Process DIRS categories, excluding thread weight. To identify the consumer threads, Look for the threads that have the most time in other categories, such as file I.O. or data verb, 
excluding thread weight. The client instrumentation will gather and list the options that were in use at the time the operation was run. This is useful in determining if a particular option has been enabled that might have an impact on performance and it eliminates the guesswork in determining which option file was in use. The client instrumentation includes a block of summary data that is placed at the end of the instrumentation output. This data can provide valuable information. For example, total number of bytes transferred. This value indicates how much data was moved during the operation. Aggregate data transfer rate. This is the overall rate at which the TSM operation was processed. It is calculated by dividing the total bytes processed by the elapsed time. The aggregate rate includes both TSM processing and network time. Network data transfer rate. This is the average rate of the network transfers between the client and the TSM server. It is calculated by dividing the total bytes transferred by the network transfer time. The time to process objects is not included in the network transfer rate. Average file size. This can be used to determine the type of data that is being processed. Now we will look at three performance tuning case studies. The first is an example of a consumer thread for an incremental backup. The first step is to find the category that makes up a majority of the total elapsed time of the thread. In this case, the thread has a total elapsed time of 802 seconds. The category responsible for the majority of the thread time is NTXN verb with 586 seconds or 73% of the total time. All other categories are much smaller compared to NTXN verb. NTXN verb represents the time the client spends waiting for the TSM server to complete end of transaction processing, which includes updates to the TSM database. So the bottleneck in this case is the TSM server and particularly the TSM database. Use the TSM server instrumentation to perform additional analysis of the TSM server. The second case study is another example of an incremental backup. We begin with a focus on the consumer thread to find the categories which account for most of the thread time. In this case, the data verb category is the largest with 859 seconds out of a total of 1,688 seconds or 51%. This category accounts for time spent sending data to the TSM server. The file I.O. category which represents time spent reading the data from the client disk is only 7% of the total time. So file I.O. is not the bottleneck. The bottleneck is sending the data to the TSM server. This could be a problem with the network transfer itself or it could be some other bottleneck on the TSM server. Further investigation is required on the TSM server. Use TSM server instrumentation. A secondary concern in this case study is the amount of time spent in the transaction category, which comprises 35% of the total time. Time in the transaction category is for non-TSM client file system operations. It could be a problem with the client file system that is causing slow open and close processing. Another possible cause is an antivirus scanner that is slowing the file operations. Generally speaking, antivirus scanners should be disabled for TSM backup operations. The final case study shows another incremental backup. We will look at both the consumer and producer threads to identify the bottleneck. Thread 4740 is the consumer thread. The file I.O. category is the largest category, excluding thread weight, in this thread, but with only 262 seconds or 15% of the total thread time. So file I.O. is not the bottleneck. The bottleneck in this case must be in the producer thread or thread 4984. Process DERS is the largest category in this thread with 1,563 seconds or 88% of the total time and is the bottleneck. 
process DERS is the amount of time spent scanning the client file system to determine which files have changed and should be backed up. Since TSM needs to compare each file to determine if it has changed, this operation can take considerable time. This type of bottleneck is not unusual on client systems that contain very many files with a low change rate. In such cases, implement TSM journal-based backup to eliminate the scan time from the backup. You can use the information in this tutorial to perform your own TSM performance analysis. Remember always to set reasonable performance expectations. Follow the methodology outlined here and use the TSM instrumentation tools to identify the performance bottleneck. Once you have found the bottleneck, you may need to do additional investigation at the network, storage, or operating system levels. Consult the TSM Optimizing Performance Guide for tuning advice. Thank you.